<laughs> Jamie, we used to have a feature called Arthur's Bales, yeah. and uh, a lot of people like Skullfork yeah. got really upset that it was Bales, so we changed it to Arthur's Nails, and uh, it's the most popular section on Rugby yeah. M. I think yeah. everybody loves to hear who the toughest players are, that some of the iconic players like yourself have played against, so who would be the top five toughest players starting with number five? So it's difficult, it's really difficult to choose. Um, number five, I'll put Barry in, Barry McDermott. Yeah. I think when Barry played the game, he, you know, he, he played the game on the edge of the red line, didn't he? And quite often he sailed over that red line. When I first came through, there were times that you just thought, he's a bit of an animal, this lad, when he's played. <laughs> uh, but as you get to know him, he's a good guy off the pitch. But he'd definitely be in there just in terms of being able to ruffle people's feathers uh, and one who just want to get stuck into it every single week. I remember that, that famous incident yourself with Willie Mason, you yeah. sticking up for Stu Fielding. Now, when Leeds played Bradford, Barry Mack was always coming looking for Stu. Was that something you had to think about before the game, the fact that he was probably going to have to fly in there or deal with that sort of scenario? Well, I think it's something Stu had to think about, to be honest. Yeah, no, they had that big rivalry for him. It was a bit like pantomime, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, that yeah. rivalry between them. And, and uh, I think it's one Stu always had to look forward to. When, and we'd know we'd, at some point we're going to have to get in and separate these two. <laughs> Who's your number four? Number four is a different one. I'm going to pick Darren Lockyer right. uh, for a different reason. I, I just think um, sometimes but you can look at toughness in two different ways and I, I think toughness is sometimes a mental toughness to come up with a big play in the big situations and I think my time playing for Great Britain we lost a lot of games because of him because of Darren Lockyer yeah. because when he was at his best between probably 01 and 06 he'd just come up with the right play at the right time and I think to show that mental toughness to be able to do that in a test match as a captain um, made me put him as a fourth number fourth um, in, the, in, the, in the list that's a really interesting in insight, that Jamie. Um, in fact, I was watching the NRL Grand Final recently, and they had Brad Fittler, Darren Lockyer, Andrew Johns. I think even maybe Johnny Thurston was knocking around on the pitch. And, and I, I started asking the lads around me, which one's the best out of these? Because depending on what age you come through, you probably have a different opinion. But to segue a little bit, who's the best Aussie you've played against? Oh, um, that's a good question. Look, I, I, I think it would have to be. Well, I played against John a couple of times, but he, he was playing for Newcastle, and I think been basically drinking for seven days before we played <laughs> at, at Bradford. So the best one I played against would block here because of that. But come yeah. up with a the big play at the right time in the right moment. Yeah, Super. consistently. Number three, who's your number third uh, toughest guy? Uh, Fitzgibbon, Craig Fitzgibbon yeah. for the Aussies. I uh, played against him quite a few times. Um, you know, over a period where we played the Aussies a lot in at the beginning uh, turn of the century, and it, you just couldn't make him shirk from everything, you'd run at him as hard as you could and never shirk away from it and they'd run back at you as hard as he possibly could um, and if there was a fight he'd be in the middle of it every <laughs> single time so um, and he was an incredibly hard working guy as well so yeah. I put Fitzy in there as well. That's what really stands out to me with Fitzgibbon, he's such a fit guy wasn't he? Yeah. Some players you can batter it like an egg until it breaks but those fit resilient guys just never break, they do yeah. it for 80 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, he was tough. I mean, he, he was really tough. He was tough because the harder, it's, again, um, the harder he got, the better he played. And I think that's a measure of toughness, isn't it? Because you think, you know, it's like when a game starts getting nasty and intense, a few guys just think, yeah, I, that's not for me. Nice. Whereas other guys, they're like, give me the ball, you know? And, <laughs> and you could tell he was one of those players. Take us to number two, penultimate. Uh, two is Sam Burgess. I think Sam Burgess is, uh, I played. I only played against him a few times when he was a young kid coming through at Bradford and he, he's another one of those that the, 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 he could hit harder than anyone I played against and he, he carried the ball harder than any, anybody you play against. I mean, I remember one game I was giving him some, some stick, I was mouthing off at him saying, because he kept running at Rob Burrow next to me and I said, what are you doing running at Rob all the time? He said, it's game plan, game plan. I said, never mind the game plan, run at me instead of you soft, I just got him try again, he said, next time he carried the ball, he run at me and I've still got the boot prints from me, it went, went straight over the top of my head, so I said, I told you to run away, but not that hard. <laughs> but um, yeah, he, he's a tough player, and yeah, he, yeah. He, you can see what he did in the NRL with the grand final, playing with, winning man of the match with a broken cheekbone, an exceptionally tough player, so he goes in it too. Wonderful athlete. Now here we are, I've, I've got an idea of, <laughs> of who this might be, but Jamie Peacock, tell us who's the toughest player you've ever played against. I think he's probably, he gets the vote more than any of us, Mozza. I think yep. Mozza's just one of those players that you just can't get him to deviate from what he wanted to do and how he wanted to play and he was another one who would lead the way when it got tougher he'd be the one stood at the front tr trying to whack everybody and you could see that when he played for the Roosters he was a player they all looked to um, if anything naughty went on he'd be the one who would want to stand up and the thing with Mozzie you know he could take your head off but then he could also 
bang you as hard as you possibly could as well, legally, and running as hard as possibly could. So uh, when he were at his best, he was by far the toughest player playing the game. You've heard it from James Peacock himself, Adrian Morley, number one. And that's coming from a guy who I sometimes call the Alexander the Great of Rugby League, the greatest warrior ever to play the game, in my humble opinion. Jamie, thank you very much. Awesome, Jonesy, thank you. Cheers.